What's going on guys, welcome to my tutorial in Adobe Edge. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to create a web banner. And I have the dimensions here set at 1200 by 200. I'm going to go to import and we're going to select the logo and the monkey character over here. So the first thing I want to do is I want to click this logo and make him do a backflip. We're going to take the Adobe Easy character here and we're just going to move these keyframes along. Let's give this a label, Control Command L and call it monkey. And let's come back here to the actual logo and we're going to give it a trigger of controller command T and select stop. So when the banner loads, this will stop over here. And the next thing we're going to do is right click on this, open actions, select click, go to and play, in quotations, monkey. So now when I click this button, it's going to come over here and play. But I want him to do a backflip. So we're going to select rotate here for a keyframe. And we're going to select another keyframe over here for rotate. Set the degrees at 360. And he does a backflip like that. Pretty simple stuff. The next thing I'm going to do is import another graphic over here. I'm going to right click on this, open actions. And when I click on it, I'm going to go open URL. This is the URL for my fan page. And I'm just going to paste in the URL. If you notice in this URL, you also have self. This means that it's going to open within the same window. If you want to open up a new window, you can put underscore blank. But I'm going to keep it at underscore self. Next, I'm going to select file import. And let's select the YouTube icon. Right click again, open actions. Click. Open URL. Okay, control enter to test this. So now when you select the logo over here, the monkey does a backflip. I can hit Facebook and go to my fan page. I can hit the YouTube icon and go to my channel. So the next thing I want to do is bring some text to this layout. So I'm just going to select the text icon. Let's type in Adobe Easy Tips on YouTube. Over here we can select the color. And we can select different fonts over here if we wanted to. Adjust the text size. And if you want to make this text clickable also, you could right click on it, open actions. And you can select click. Same thing, open the URL if you wanted to. And we can send it again to the YouTube channel. Hit control enter. And you will go to the YouTube channel. That's basically what you can do to get yourself started with a web banner. If you guys have any questions, post them in the comments below. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.